So coral islands are extremely special when it comes to dolphin interactions, especially because they have grown used to the presence of divers during the season. And they don't really mind and get super close. And I've learned to sort of mirror their behavior and just hang out, look them in the eye and try to have a good interaction for the clients that are diving with us. And I believe that they recognize people after a few chances, at least uh, that's my, my view. And this is uh, my friend Andreas, he was one of my divers from that trip. And the pod is a resident uh, to San Benedicto Island. This is a different site. This is El Cañon, but I believe it is the same pod. And um, here I start making some noises for the dolphins and moving my arm, my hand. And then he starts kind of like doing the same thing and makes a decision to separate himself from the pod and start the interaction. So he wiggles the fins again starts getting closer and closer. There's another wiggle saying yes. I was moving my head yes too. And then there's another one. This other guy, he has uh, two really big cuts. You can see in his dorsal fin right about there. No, that's a different angle actually. My friend Miguel, he was a dive leader for that trip. He was recording from the other angle. There you can see the the cuts in his fin, um, and then he shows the belly and starts just hanging out and kind of dancing on the water. It was truly amazing interaction. I mean, I've seen them many times, but this is the first time that they sort of come and hang out. And this is a magical, magical interaction, and I'm really, really grateful to have been a part of it.